I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Highly unstable. <laughs> Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Okay, in this tutorial we are going to make a custom bookshelf from scratch. These are the bookshelves like you see in all the player homes which you can put up to 18 books on the shelf. I've got this in my test cell and I'm going to build it in my test cell. Now, one thing that I absolutely found out that if you're making a player home, you don't want to build the bookshelf in your, like a warehouse or something, and then try to copy it because it tends to crash the kit every time. At least for me, if you build it in your warehouse and then you can copy it and paste it into your cell, great for you. But I would suggest to build it on the spot. So. I'm going to build it here in my test cell. So, in in my test cell for my uh, way stations of Skyrim. Okay, first thing you want to do in the filter, you want to type in default book. And you'll get a default bookshelf marker, which will come up. This is the one you need. And I have the snapped grid and snapped angle on at this particular time. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that in, drop that right there. Push my W key to bring up the to bring up the gizmo and I'm going to take and I'm going to turn it this way. Turn that off and then I'm going to take and move that up. Now, it's really important that you have this book sitting right on the shelf. So if you've got a gap like that and you got your snap to grid on, turn that off. And then open double click this, open it up. You can see it's at, the Z is the Z is on 80. So we're just gonna use the arrows right here and take it down to 78. And I'm gonna need one more, I think. And that looks like it's correct. So then I want to take and drag this over here. But you you don't want to have it too close to the edge of the shelf. So use, use your X key to push it back a little bit like this. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to duplicate it. And use your C key. And move it over it doesn't have to be exact there can be a little bit of a space in between them but it's better if it's up close so a good a good thing to do here is now I'm gonna go ahead and select both of them hold control select both of them and I'm gonna duplicate those and I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna try to get it just as close as possible that's that's four of them you can have up to 18 books on a shelf, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate them again. That's eight. That's pretty close. And duplicate that one more time. Makes it easy when you just duplicate them and then you can have 16 of them on here that's 16 and you gotta play with it a little bit and then we're gonna do these last two the same way and duplicate those just like that now you kind of want to have 
you kind of want to have them centered to one side or the other. Um, you can see how I got it a little bit offset and then a little bit of extra here. Because usually if it comes up there, they'll fall. They'll either fall one way or the other. So that's good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take and I'm going to hold control and I'm going to select all these. Each one of these here, I'm going to take and just select them all so that way I can duplicate the whole set and move it down to, to the other shelf. So I'm going to duplicate that. Use my Z key to move them all down here. And as you can see, they're pretty close, but you got to get them pretty much right on the money. And sometimes it, it's really touchy. So that looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, I can live with that. So we've got our default bookshelf markers in. So that's good. So now we're going to need a con we're going to need our container. So clear out your filter. like this and click on container and put book in. and it will come up and you will see player bookshelf container and go ahead and click your snap to grid back on and stick that right in there now you don't want to have this can be activated by the player so you don't want to have this out here just go ahead and stick that outside the cell or somewhere out of the way to where the player can't get at it underneath it or you know wherever so that's good right there now we're gonna need a do some uh, collision cubes to keep these books in this bookshelf okay so we're gonna add our collision cubes so you want to click on the bookshelf right here and go up here to the top and you'll see a box with a C in it that's create your collision cube this is you these are usually yellow so you want to keep them yellow now you're gonna need seven of these for a good proper bookshelf so and then use your gizmo to resize it And I can see that it's going to be a little hard. Um, yeah. So I, I can see it's being hard, being difficult because I have my snapped grid on. So I'm going to shut that off. And I kind of want to get it to where it's up against this, kind of up against this book. So... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push my number two key to make that disappear. And then I'm going to use my X button to slide this over. This way. And take a look at it. That's pretty good. And I don't need this that wide, so I'm going to go ahead and push my 2 key again. And that'll be good. Now I'm going to use my C key. I can see that it's 
wanting to be difficult so I accidentally pushed my one so I'm gonna go ahead and hold alt push one again there you go and I'm gonna try to center this up about like that and that will give me that side right there and then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna duplicate it use my X key and try to move this over to here and sometimes sometimes you have to readjust the way you're looking at it because it's so touchy now you can see that that is still that's about good we need one right there and now we're going to need another one so we'll go ahead and click on our shelf again click on our collision cube again and I need one for the top of the books so that is pretty close actually um, I'm going to push my two key and I'm going to open that up and I'm going to change the Z to zero 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 and like that that's a little too much so I'm gonna put a five in here and that should be perfectly on top of those books right now I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna move it down but I'm gonna to have to fix this because I'm gonna to have to fix this because this is too wide so about like that and then I wanna put it on top of the other books and I'm gonna go ahead and make these all zeros and then use the buttons and that should that might be just a little bit too high or too low so I'm gonna put a five on here and that should that should do do it for that now I'm gonna need two more collision cubes one two three four five six and then I'm gonna need one underneath the, this bookshelf so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this one and I kind of want to get it close and this I am gonna put all zeros at the end of it like that and I'm gonna just kind of do it like that now you don't have to you actually don't have to do it the shelf because the shelf has collision but this is the best way to do it so we got that all there and now we need two more one in front of the books and then one in back of the books so we're going to click on our bookshelf again. And we're going to push our collision cube again. And then this one will be the one for the front. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up top. This is excellent view right here. And I'm going to make this about that thick. And then I'm going to move this 
to where I guesstimate that the back of the books are going to be. Which is right about... Which is right about there, okay? And I'm going to duplicate that again. And I'm going to pull this out here and keep pulling it out until I get it about where I want it. So about like that. So that will keep the books all inside of there. So now we have to put our triggers on here. Uh, before we do that, I got one more thing I want to do. Is I want to duplicate this container and drop it down to there. That will be the lower shelf. Alright, now we're going to do our triggers. We're going to need, because we're going to need two triggers. All right, so we got to do our two triggers. The best thing to do at this point is to just go ahead and click on your collision cubes and hide them by pushing one twice on them. That way they're all out of the way. Okay. So we're going to need to do our triggers. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and click on your shelf. And there's a box up here with a T in it. It says create trigger. And a select form will come up. You want to type in book. And there will be two at the top right, right here. Now, there's the first one you're going to need is the bookshelf click trigger so we're going to go ahead and we are going to put that in and we're going to double click on that and we're going to go to primitive and click player activation and I usually change the color to blue just so I know the difference and everything so that gives me like that now what you want this to do is you want to you want the player to be able to grab it so I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this and then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna dread Kip kits being very touchy today and that'd be good it just has to be accessible to the player like that and one there it doesn't have to cover everything that's pretty good right there so we'll go ahead and turn that gizmo off and then I'm going to duplicate that Hold my Z key and move it down. Just like that. And that's those triggers that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and hide those for right now. Because I need one more trigger. Or two more triggers. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the bookshelf again. I'm going to click the trigger box. And I'm going to type in book. And I need the second trigger. Now this trigger um, has to totally uh, encompass your books. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but it has to be. All your books have to be inside inside of this trigger. When I mean all your books, I mean all your markers. So, that gives me a little bit of play there. So, I can take this and I can mm. 
Remember what I said about the kit being real touchy today? Yeah. So I need this down to right about right about there. And then I'm going to take and drag that in a little more. So that's actually that's inside of it and see that is a little bit needs to go just a little bit uh just a little bit out that way just like a little bit and it still needs to go out that way doesn't have to be perfect but I'm I'm such a perfectionist I really am too and it looks like looks like I can go ahead and pull that over just a little bit there that will put them all inside and I'm gonna want to go ahead and double du duplicate this and I'm going to move this down. So that it covers all the books inside of there. So that's ready there. So we're going to go ahead and hit Alt 1. And that's set up pretty much how it's supposed to be. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the really fun part. Oh, before we do that, there's something here you need to do. Uh, go ahead and hide the click trigger and click on this uh, trigger here, the player bookshelf trigger, and you're going to want to go to the primitive and you're going to want to set it for L trigger just like that and do that for both of them and this is going to be L trigger just like that and then we're going to need I think I think we'll be all okay yep now we get to do the real fun part. So go ahead and hide all your triggers and your collision planes by double cl clicking on them, then double click your one key. And hide these trigger boxes here. So everything's hidden except that. Just like that. So all you basically one is your books here so once you've got that you want to move around here and open your first container right here and slide this over to the side because you're going to need that and we're going to link these all these books to this container or this container to all these books so go to your link ref tab and double click on that there select your reference window select that first one and then the keyword you're going to want to put is book shelf book 01 there's 18 of these so you can only put 18 on a shelf so and you you have that like that now so you don't get lost click on that first one and hide it and then just go along to each one of these and do them in order and then hide it like this and then do them in order like this and book and you're going to want three so you don't get lost see how they number up like that and then you hide it and then you don't get lost 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all of these books. I'm going to do these books for this container and then I'm going to do the other container and link all of these books, which is, will be the exact same thing just with the other container. All right, so I got all of these books linked, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to hold Alt and click one, and I'm going to click on this first click trigger here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that, and I am going to slide back out here to where I can see my containers out here. I'm going to double click that. And I'm going to select this reference. Now I want to put a keyword on this. I want book. And scroll down through the list. And you will see bookshelf container. So that's good there. And we'll do that for the other one. On the bottom right here. Move that out of the way. And over here. Same thing. And you want to book and scroll down through the list to these find bookshelf container keyword. And that is good there. And that will be it for that. Now we will go, go on with it. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our click triggers and we're going to open this up. You want to go to 3D data. Now with the rotation, it'll be all zeros. So you just want to add a one on the end of that. It's because the kit will, there's kind of a bug in the kit. So you go ahead and add a one on the end of that. And this is like 90. Always just add the one anyway. So like that. And then do it with the other click trigger here. Go to 3D data. Click a 1. Put a 1 on the end of there. So that it won't cause that glitch. And one other thing I need to check here. Uh, you want to make sure that there's the position has some random numbers in here like this so that's good um, this you might want to the Y if it's got zero zeros you might want to add a add a one to that at the end it won't really change it very much in very much so that's not really a big deal just some random numbers so that it won't cause that glitch either now we're going to uh, click our other triggers so you gotta you gotta kind of hide some stuff there and open this that's the collision marker we can hide that And that is the bookshelf that right there. I think I screwed up. I'll go ahead and click this out and like this. And I'm going to hide that collision marker. And then I'm going to grab this trigger here like that and go to link ref. And I'm going to. go ahead and go to my first bookshelf container here and I'm gonna go ahead and link this doesn't need a keyword so that one is good I'm gonna do that with my second one just like that and I'll do that with my second bookshelf container no keyword of course and that is good there and we'll go ahead and move on 
now what we're going to do is we're going to link the bookshelf triggers back to the bookshelf containers back to this trigger here so we're going to go ahead and add new and we're going to click on that and that will be there and we're going to want to put a bookshelf another keyword on here and it is bookshelf trigger 01 okay and we're going to do that with the second one and click new and do it like that make sure it says that bookshelf and we'll go down here and bookshelf trigger 01 just like that okay all right so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make sure of some stuff here with these uh, triggers here we want to go along to primitive and make sure it's set on L trigger it is and check the second one set on L trigger we're gonna go around to the front and push alt alt 1 and click on our uh, player trigger and make sure player activation is checked on this and that's good and that should be everything that you need so I'll go along I'll go into game and show you that this works all right so we are here in my test cell uh, here's our bookshelf here it says activate bookshelf so it looks good we need some books to put in it because I don't think that I have any on hand not a lot anyway so what we're gonna do is is I'm gonna use add item menu and I'm gonna add some books and I'm going to one two three four five six seven eight and I'm going to take 18 books and I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick all these books in there and that works great the top one works great so we'll go ahead and take them all and check we will check the bottom one right here by doing the same thing. And that worked just fine, guys. They aren't flying around. Looks like they might be floating a little bit. They are floating a little bit, so we can go ahead and go back into game and fix that right up by moving the moving the uh, you you would move the collision boxes the collision box under it down a little bit, and then maybe move the uh, trigger down a little bit, and maybe even the book markers down just a little bit but it works so we're going to take all those and put them back in here and that works really well all right guys that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And remember, guys, if you enjoy the content and found it helpful, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the Join button below the video or clicking the upper right-hand corner of this video. On the Information button, you will find a link to the Merch Store, to the channel, and to the My Streamlabs tip to leave a tip through Streamlabs. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp, don't be a milk drinker, 
and always watch the skies, traveler.